What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Sharp Management. Today I want to talk about editing and deleting uh, customer or vehicle information or editing the quick buttons. Let's check it out. So if we have an estimate that's already open, it's obviously it's really simple to edit this information. Just click on edit right here. That's really simple or the vehicle information right there. But how do I change the buttons at the bottom, the quick buttons? Click just like your radio. How do you set your preset on the radius? Just click and hold for three seconds, it opens up. Click and hold for three seconds, it opens, it opens up. What about the can jobs? Same thing, click and hold for three seconds, same thing. All right, so that's, that's pretty simple. Let's talk about what if I wanna edit customer information without having an estimate open. That's really simple too. Just click on search for the customer, click and hold, same thing, click and hold gonna bring it up here I can change whatever I want or I can delete the customer do not delete the customer unless you have to um, if it's a duplicate customers and they have uh, they have like invoices then merge the customer I'll show you in a second how to merge a customer um, so what if I want to delete or add a vehicle information just click and hold Again, it'll, it'll let, give you the option to delete. Again, do not delete unless you have to, unless it was it was added by error. Otherwise, you shouldn't be deleting this information because they're, they're related to estimates and invoices. All right, so let's talk about, I wanna talk about merge customers real quick. Um, let's go ahead and add Mark again. To merge a customer, they must have the same name and the same phone number, 248. I forget the phone number, but something like that. You see, I mean, if you try to add a customer, it's gonna remind you here that this 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 phone number belongs to this customer. Let's say I, I, I did continue anyway, and PSM, uh, and let's say so we have this customer right here, and let's go back when I search. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna see the merge customer option. This only will be shown if the name is the same and the phone number, the first phone number is the same. If I click on merge, merge customers, it's gonna make those two customer, one customer with their estimates and invoices. So that's really cool. That's what, that would work the same thing where right here, see now I have two Jeep Grand Cherokee. So what I'll do here is I type Jeep, now it's going to give you the option to merge those two vehicles merge merge exit and that's it and now let's let's search again for mark and mark have these vehicles so it's really cool all right i want to talk about changing the date on a closed invoice um to change the date on a closed in okay you cannot change the date on an invoice obviously until it's paid and closed otherwise it's still open so and the date always kind of like added automatically today's date if i close uh, if i make this let's say i have an estimate here for alignment authorize it authorize it pay invoice cash pay and that's it so the, this invoice did close on today's date i mean that's the whole thing is about automation is today was paid to, this invoice was paid today and it was closed today but let's say i want to change the date of this invoice. I want to change it. So I all I have to do is click on the close right there, on the date right there. And let's say I want to put it now on Sunday. Confirm. And then let's say I, want, I got to change the payment date too. So I click on payment. Click on on date. I can delete the payment if I want to. Change date, payment date. And that's it. Sunday. Confirm. And that's it. Let's go to the, our daily report. And let's go to Sunday. It's right there. And if we look at the payment date, actually, if we look right here, it's right there, the payment date was 10 3. So that's how you change uh, the date. All right, so what if I want to edit an invoice? That I get this question a lot. So you uh, so an in progress estimate, an in progress invoice, doesn't matter, you can change whatever you want. But once the, the, uh, the invoice is paid, it goes to, uh, directly, automatically to the, to the daily report. And let's say I want to edit this invoice. All you have to do is uh, three the three dots up top. Click on that menu. Click Edit Invoice. Now the invoice is open at this moment right now. I can edit it right here. 
or if you want to send it back to in progress all you have to do is just click on that arrow right there and exit if I exit now I gotta go back to in progress trying to find it right there so it's balance two zeros right there so I can I, I still can close the invoice or I can let's say add an AC recharge and authorize it make a payment cash pay that's it that's how you close it all right let's see that's how do I change the date on a close on uh, in a data report so if I come in here and just click on the date and I say I want to put it on Wednesday confirm let's change the payment to to Wednesday change date confirm and that's it I think that's it for today I appreciate you guys watching until next time thanks for watching